I consider myself a decent dancer, and TikTok dances be throwing me for a loop and a half. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's a little yeah. much for me. Like, it doesn't feel natural to like yeah. do this, you know? ¿Qué pasa, mi gente? It's your girl, Becky G, and welcome to Vogue's 24 Hours with me. I'm here in New York City. We are at Overthrow Boxing Club, and we're starting off at the top of the... It wouldn't be New York if there wasn't cars honking, so we're gonna throw some hands. So, let's get started. Obviously, for what I do, I get to travel to different cities, different countries sometimes, but the one common thread throughout is finding a gym, a studio of some sort where I can do some fun physical activity. Being here in New York, I had to come to Overthrow. And as you guys can see, I went short nails. I knew I was gonna get this workout in. Long nails is not where it's at. It's not good. Mm-mm. Sometimes you just gotta put some gloves on, you just gotta let it out. Boxing is extremely therapeutic. Moments where I would find myself really overwhelmed, I would go to the gym, put some gloves on, and throw some hands in it. It keeps me present in my body, which for someone who's struggled with anxiety for a very long time, being in my body was sometimes really hard for me. And I wouldn't feel that until I was like on stage or doing some kind of physical activity. And yeah, boxing, it's pretty badass. I feel like a badass when I box. I am in New York City to be performing, which is a huge deal. I'm so excited. We've been in rehearsals for months, just putting together the show. Yeah, it's just wild when you think about where you started versus where you are today. We grow up in our, especially young adult years, we, we call it like these midlife crisis, but it's, it's not. It's us unlearning who we're not to become who we've always truly been, deep down inside. And I feel like this is the closest I've ever felt to who I really am, who I truly am. And being able to identify what doesn't align with that anymore and letting it go. There's like grief in that too, so it's kind of like this weird like space to be in. But it's also so beautiful because you're like the little butterfly that's like being birthed in the cocoon. And it's like, I can fly. Try extra butter. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Wait, I have to take my shades off to look at this beauty. How cute. Oh, like a glove. These are a spoil yourself, treat yourself, you are worth it kind of moment. I would definitely say growing up Latina, my culture I think has played a really big part in my fashion for sure. A style icon for me is definitely my mom. My mom in high school is a whole mood from her natural curly hair that she would rock to her oversized jeans. I love wearing like oversized uh, bottoms with like a tighter top or oversized top with tighter bottoms, kind of balancing it out. I'm a little chaparrita so I have to be careful with what I wear, because if not, I can look like I'm drowning in a lot of fabric, which I've made the mistake of a couple times. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You guys gotta turn away, you can't look at my credit card. Bye. <laughs> okay guys, we're done shopping. We're gonna go and get ready for dinner, so come along. Today is a pretty packed day for me, but I have a dinner with my team. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna wear. I have an idea, so hopefully she fits. For me, it's important to build that relationship with my team so everyone understands just how appreciated and how seen they are. Not a lot of people recognize that behind every great artist is an incredible force of people who are making sure that every T is crossed and every I is dotted. And I take a lot of pride in that. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So good. Everyone else is on their way. How romantic. <laughs> That's how many honks today. We should count. What is this? 
it's all right. No, I got lunch for me. How many drink drinks, salsa? I was going to say, how many drinks does everybody need before we go salsa dancing? Zero. Solid question. <laughs> a whole Zero. bottle. 17. I don't need any. I can salsa I dance sober. I love salsa music. But see, I don't. I technically don't know how to properly salsa dance. Like, I'm not like a salsa dance pro. Oh, she's gonna I, bust out all the moves. No, literally. Yeah. No! I consider myself a decent dancer, and TikTok dances be throwing me for a loop and a half. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a little yeah. much for me. Like, it doesn't feel natural to, like, do this, you know? I think it's like make it. You know what I mean? Glenn's like, I have one arm. <laughs> I'm like, I have two left Good feet. Experience. And Becky's like, just sprinkle the hair to us and like a little, little shoulder. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll keep it simple tonight. All right, guys, we officially made it to Gonzales y Gonzales. We are going to go inside and attempt a salsa class. So we're gonna dance salsa on two, New York Mambo, okay? Right foot forward on one. Feet together, right foot forward on one. Now we take the left foot and we go back. With the right foot we go back. And with the left foot we go forward. Forward, forward, back. Good, forward, forward, back, 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 forward. Are we ready for music? <laughs> Showing off my culture, my roots, was always like a priority to me and, and has always been still to this day. I feel like often as minority youth, we're constantly told that we can only be one thing and that we gotta stay in these boxes that society puts us in. And it just doesn't do justice what we have to offer. When they say the sky is the limit, we are no exception to that, you know? Uh, we are limitless, so it's exciting. All right, folks, familia. It's getting crowded in here, so we're gonna let you guys go and we're just gonna dance in 